did and why you did what you did before you did what you have what you don't and what you think that you want what you like what you fear if you live it straight or if you're queer what you know and where you looked how far you go when you're hooked we are information gatherers and hunters we feed on you
others have come in and talked to me about this, and I went into it in some depth. All of the incentives are toward less medical care because the less care they give them, the more money they make. This will be the incentive on the right way. I am proposing today a new national health strategy. The purpose of this program is simply this. I want America to have the finest health care in the world. And I want every American to be able to have that care when he needs it. The plan hatched between Nixon and Edgar Kaiser worked. In the ensuing years, patients were given less and less care. Bigger log jams at the nearby public hospital and less quality medical care. Been here by 18 hours. Since 7 this morning. Seven what this looks morning. cramped and unsightly can also be dangerous. While the health insurance companies became wealthy, the system was broken. 37 million Americans are without protection against catastrophic illness. The losers are the poor, who may now postpone urgently needed health care until it's too late. And thus, the health care industry went unchecked into the early 21st century. Humana more than doubles its fourth quarter profit, lifts its earnings outlook for the year as well. United Health has tripled its share price. Making obscene profits. Aetna beat their estimates. Better than expected earnings. One of them was Aetna. There's a lot of really wealthy shareholders out there right now. Are they willing to actually share some of that wealth? Turning their CEOs into billionaires and skirting the law whenever they wanted. But their biggest accomplishment was buying our United States Congress. We've given the entire health care system over to the insurance industry. I mean, they have total control. Well, not total control. The drug companies like to buy their members of Congress, too. Here's what it costs to buy these men. The President of the United States. And the biggest check was saved for last. Frau. 